Hey friends, welcome back to USMLE team. Today's topic is essential tremor or benign essential tremor. This is very important topic for your USMLE examination. The beauty of this is you need to diagnose it clinically. In this disease, you see only the tremors on of the hands, head or both and it does not affect the lower limbs that is lower legs so before starting this i would request you to subscribe to our channel that is all on on law and tell your friends about our channel to subscribe because we need your subscription if you subscribe youtube will notify you whenever you we upload a new video and you can watch and if there is any error any mistakes or anything to be done on this you can tell us Okay guys, let me start with this essential tremor. So try to concentrate for USML examination on clinical features because you need to differentiate this disorder from Parkinsonian disorder and other tremors like intentional tremors. Okay, so let me start. Why? Because if you diagnose it correctly, you need whether you need to investigate or not, that's very important and what, how do you treat it and that's very important. So diagnosis is very important so you need to know the clinical features very well this disease is diagnosed by clinical features alone the tremor intensity can worsen in response to the fatigue strong emotions low blood sugar cold caffeine lithium salts some antidepressants and other factors it is a typical for the tremors to worsen in the performance situations such as when the writing a check for a payment at a store or giving a presentation so imagine in a USML examination they would give you a story that the history that a patient um, was in a store um, he was writing a check for a store and suddenly he started seeing tremor in his arm okay or they can give that the patient is on caffeine he drinks four to five cups of coffee each day uh, and he's doing fine but recently he noted tremor in his hand so try to link those things okay the essential tremor related tremors do not occur during sleep very important point for USML examination but the patient sometimes complain of an especially coarse tremor upon awakening that becomes noticeable, noticeably less coarse within the first few minutes of wakefulness. In the mild cases, essential tremors can manifest as the uh, inability to stop the tongue or hands from shaking, the ability to sing only in vibrato or and difficulty to do small precise tasks such as threading a needle. Even simple tasks like cutting in a straight line or using a ruler can range from a difficulty to impossible depending on the severity of the condition. In USML examination how they trick you is they give a old man like a 70 years old man with this with the primer so you get confused with um, Parkinsonian tremors you get confused with uh, cerebellar tremors okay so that's why you need to know the clinical features very well ET can interfere with a person's ability to perform tasks of daily living including feeding dressing and activities of personal hygiene so they might give you that the person is very irritated because he is not able to do his daily livings People with ED can sometimes have problem with the word finding and can't articulate themselves effectively even with the preparation. A person with essential tremor may become shy, withdrawn, pessimistic, anxious and also have difficulties concentrating. It is common for those with ED to be embarrassed uh, by the condition even though it is out of their control okay self med there is a, an important point here self medication with a small amounts of alcohol has been shown to give a short term relief for tremor 
So in USMLE examination, they tell you that the patient gives a history that whenever he gets a tremor, he drinks a cup of beer or alcohol and the tremor goes away. So now the first question is why it goes away? And the second question is if it goes away, is it the treatment for the essential tremor? Would you recommend them? No, you should not recommend them. Why? Because alcohol drinking this this can lead to alcohol abuse. So there are other drugs, other treatment plans for this disease. But the history you have to remember, they will give the history that the uh, the pain is relieved by or a tremor is relieved by alcohol drinking. How does this alcohol helps? Ethanol is able to reduce caspase 3 induced apoptosis though not without an increased loss of neurons in the cerebellum and olivary nucleus. Ethanol has been shown to decrease the levels of glutamate in the cerebellar nuclei which had been pretreated with hormalin. Furthermore, ethanol directly reduces hyperactivity of a climbing fiber per king for cells synapses by acting on glutamatergic receptors. Ethanol may reduce tremor by dampening the overexcitation of gluta, uh, glutamatergic pathways involving deep cerebellar nuclei which may also reduce levels of caspase 3 induced apoptosis. This is not important for USMLE CK and a step 3 may be for a step 1 so just go through once. Ok guys there are two options, two things what I should tell you. One is what are the investigation you would like to do. I say I don't want to do anything. You say I want to do something. Why you want to do something? I will ask you. No don't do any investigations no needed that's why diagnose it clinically okay the second thing how do you treat it what is the first line of the drug what do you want to give to the patient that's the propranolol propranolol is a drug of choice now i would like to ask you if propranolol doesn't work what is an alternative for that tell me it's a alprazola is a primadone or clozapine now you ask me if these treatments are not effective what do you do well I will I would like to go ahead with the surgery that is thalamotomy okay so these are the important points for benign essential trainers try to concentrate on the clinical features no investigation caffeine and alcohol relation and propanol law okay guys Thank you so much for watching my video and thank you for your love and thank you for your support. Thank you, take care.